Hey everybody, uh, what I have here is some pork shoulder that uh, was already cubed up. Uh, I've had it on the smoker with uh, a little bit of pecan and what we're going to do now uh, is dredge it and fry it in oil. So I got a two part dredge set up here. Unfortunately the store did not have the Don's chuck wagon mix that I wanted to use. So what we're actually using is uh, Louisiana, the seasoned crispy chicken fry batter. And we're just going to give this a try, see how it goes. We're going to uh, go ahead and dredge all these up. And uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the dredge a hundred times, so I'm not going to bore you with doing all about 20 pieces here. So we will be back after I have everything dredged and the oil is ready and we will go from there. See you soon. Alright guys, here we go. I got everything dredged and battered. I uh, got my cast iron enamel pot here on the Camp Chef. Uh, oil, canola oil, right at 350. So let's go ahead and drop some of these in carefully, trying not to burn ourselves. And all we're going to do is cook these so we get a nice golden brown crust on the outside. Now the pork shoulder wasn't exactly cut into equal size pieces, so to say. So we're going to put uh, the smaller ones in first. We had about seven of those. I have about 12 bigger pieces left. We're going to do this in three batches so we don't crowd our, our pot. And uh, let's see how they turn out, okay? Ooh, I like this. Get nice golden brown. So we don't have to worry about cooking the pork shoulder all the way through in this process. It's already been brought up to 150 degrees out on the smoker. So, oh, these are getting nice crunchy outside to them, guys. I actually got this enamel pot from my mother-in-law for Christmas. Man, do I like it. It uh, comes in real handy on the Camp Chef. Uh, this is the Pioneer, the two burner. So, let's take a look at these here. Uh, about another minute guys and they should be ready to go. So we'll give it a minute here and uh, pull some out, let some cool and I will slice into them later and we'll see how they turned out. So real nice sizzle going on in the pot. You can just hear it crisping up. That doesn't look too bad at all right there guys. Get these bad boys out of here. Trying to do it without throwing them all over the ground. The dog doesn't need that much heat. So, all right, there is the first run. Make sure you guys can see that. Oh yeah, you can see that fine. So, give a minute here to uh, let the oil come back up a little bit, and then. Uh, We'll put the next batch in. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is crunchy. So here we go. Oh yeah, oil is still plenty hot. Ooh, that one almost met its maker. Need bigger tongs. I just didn't feel like grabbing my long barbecue tongs out, so there. that's the second batch. Should just take a minute or two. Uh, what we'll do is when I'm done frying everything up, we'll come back. See you soon. All right, everybody, we're back. Um, we let this cool a little bit, 
And now let's cut into it and see what we got here. Oh yeah, nice and crunchy on the outside. Let's take a look at that. Smoke ring on it. Better, almost a 3 8 inch uh, penetration of that smoke ring. I'm really excited about that. So, breading's not sticking quite as nice as I hoped, but let's give her a try. Mmm. It's still juicy, it's still tender. You can see some juice coming out there. I like it. If I can just get that breading to stick a little better next time, I think we got a keeper, kids. Well, everybody, enjoy what's left of your weekend. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye, gang.